हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस क्लास ऑफ बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट आई एम डॉक्टर एस एस वेदवान डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वील डिस्कस अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एसे बाई डॉक्टर एस राधा कृष्णन एंड इट इज एंटाइटल्ड डेमोक्रेसी डॉक्टर राधा कृष्णन एज यू ऑल नो ही वॉज अ फिलोसफर एंड अ स्टेट्समैन ऑफ रेप्यूट he was a great philosopher and he presented the hindu philosophy the vedic philosophy across the world in this beautiful essay in this beautiful piece dr radhakrishnan he ponders upon certain questions about democracy and he says that this is really a testing time for democracy so why dr radhakrishnan poses this question that democracy is passing through a testing time so let us find out why dr radhakrishnan he presented to us this question and how we can say democracy the essayist dr s radhakrishnan as you all know was a great teacher a philosopher and we celebrate the teachers day in his memory dr radhakrishnan he was born in 1888 and he passed away in 1975 he was a great educationist philosopher and statesman of repute he was the first vice president of india from 1952 to 1962 and the second president of india from 1962 to 1967 he was a fellow of all sales all souls and presented his discourse on indian philosophy at manchester college oxford and as a spalding professor of eastern religions and ethics at oxford so a very great man a learned man who presented the vedic philosophy across the world the essay democracy is taken from kalki or the future of civilization this essay was written by radhakrishnan to express his doubts about the working of democracy he says that democracy is passing through a testing time and in his opinion democracy as a political arrangement is not very popular so the first question he ask is that democracy is passing through a testing time and as a political engagement it is not very popular it has broken down in italy in spain russia and china so he cites other countries also where democracy is not functioning up to its mark it may have been a welcomed release from the autocratic rule of the british but its working is not satisfactory so radhakrishnan he says that although india it has also adopted democracy after a slavery of 200 years of the british but the functioning is somewhat very restrictive it is not functioning very freely it may have been successful in a small country but the working the democratic government in a country like india has not very encouraging dr radhakrishnan he gives reason for the poor working of democracy in a very large country like india he says that the running of a government needs technical skill it needs experts to run government but in a democracy the ablest people do not get a chance the reason is that government is run by the majority and the majority is likely to take a decision in hurry and these decisions might be taken by keeping in mind their own interests so he says that the decision making body 
in a democracy and the decisions are taken by a majority vote and all these people who are taking such decisions they might have their own vested interest in these decisions moreover the electoral the elected members may not be free to take independent decisions as they may be under the influence of some powerful forces on the other hand the ablest people are in minority and that is why even their well considered opinions are not paid any attention thus the general result is that democracy has not been favorable to the freedom of the individual radhakrishnan he says that this situation is like grisham's law according to grisham's law bad money drives good money out similarly in democracy bad opinions which are formed in haste dry out good opinions which are well considered and this we are witnessing in our democratic country like india over the past years the functioning of democracy has been at high risk that is why radhakrishnan at an early stage he said that these are really testing times for democracy in europe he gives the example from across the border in europe and america which are considered to be the most democratic and individualistic countries even their individualistic life is less regarded so not only in india but also in europe and america the functioning of democracy is passing through testing times in these countries the ka klux klan a secret organization in usa tried to prevent the black from enjoying their rights as free citizens and to enjoy equal rights with the whites this proves that even in the so called advanced countries democracy is not as successful as it was expected to be thus radhakrishnan says that democracy has become confused with ignorance lack of discipline and low taste he says that we welcome democracy i quote i am quoting from the text he says we welcome democracy as a release from autocratic rule and we are not satisfied with its working today we are coming to realize that government is a technical art and only those skilled in it can be the rulers democracy in its actual working rarely permits a country to be governed by its ablest men unquote even our education system is defective rather than uh, questions he says that even our education system is defective because it reaches us because it teaches us to read and write but it doesn't train us to think in an objective manner as a result the unthinking people have an upper hand over the thinking few in fact democracy tends to make our thoughts mechanical it does not give us any freedom to think independently as a result democracy in its actual working is anti democratic radhakrishnan he says that progress can be made only if there are different opinions and open discussions that take place among the members as we see in the world today as discussions as bills are tabled in the parliament it is all the governments it is all the governing bodies it is all the political parties in power which tries to present their own view and the opinions of others are often discarded but in the present democratic setup 
says Radha Krishna, no progress can be made in the absence of free thinking and discussion. So, free thinking and discussions, they are part and parcel of a democratic country and they will help in functioning democracy in its true manner and spirit. At the same time, economic inequality cannot bring about political equality and thus the purpose of democracy is, defe is defeated. If we cannot provide equality to our people, the sole purpose of democracy is defeated. Radha Krishna says that democracy is like a lottery. One can win and one may not. So, through these facts, Radha Krishna says, the chances are of not winning are more than those of winning the lottery. That is, the chances of the success of democracy in the present setup are much less than the chances of a then chances of its failure. He expresses doubts according to the writer that is Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. The elected representatives are not independent. They are helpless tools. They believe in standard thoughts and there is no room for any new creative work. They have to follow the party line. They cannot go beyond what the party insists them to present. So, this is a great defect in our democratic system, in the functioning of democracy. If democracy is still successful, then it is like winning a lottery. Writer wants us to find a better way for making democracy successful. Then, to depend on the lottery of the ballot box. So, in a democracy, everything is decided by the ballot box. It is the popular vote, the majority party wins and it forms the government. So, in an early stage, we can say that Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, he has presented his views on the functioning of democracy and the testing times for democracy of which he says, that democracy is really passing through testing times and it is the ballot box that decides the future of democracy. So, Radha Krishnan, in a way, he has asked the reader if they have some better way to make democracy function in a much better and independent way. Dear students, I hope you have understood the gist of this essay which is written by Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. Thank you very much.